my credit card company closed my account. What should I do? Check it out. Hi, I'm Rhonda Burgess. I'm a real estate broker and mortgage underwriter here in the Nashville, Tennessee area. And my firm is Southern Living Realty Partners. Okay, we're going to get right into this one. I've gotten this call a lot. I've seen it a lot, uh, um, you know, like in the different Facebook groups and, you know, comments on YouTube and stuff. You know, ever since the beginning of the year, I know a lot, several credit card companies been closing our accounts. Just close them. Whether you owe them money or not, they closing it or they cutting your credit line like it's nothing. I'm going to tell you the Personally, I had this happen with, uh, I had a U.S. bank credit card. It was the Kroger MasterCard. Okay. And I didn't owe them nothing. I didn't owe them nothing. I had paid them off. I had paid them off. Don't really, didn't really use the card. You know, I'm just using the card for the little reward points to get some gas. I don't even, I don't even shop at Kroger anymore, but that's, you know, back then. Okay. So I guess another like, oh yeah, well, we looked at your other credit lines. We looked at your credit report and saw that you owed let, let me give an example. Like you owe Regions Bank. And so since you owe Regions, we're gonna cut your credit line. And we're gonna give you a credit line of only three hundred dollars. Excuse you? First of all, if I ain't never been late to you, I don't owe you no money. That to me shouldn't be none of your business. You understand what I'm saying? What what I got going on with somebody else ain't none of your business. Okay. So yeah, it pissed me off. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. It really made me mad. And so I closed the account. I have not I have not had an account. I won't even go in US Bank <laughs> since then. Okay. Uh I've never had an account with them. The only thing I had was the Kroger uh card and I, I don't mess with them. Now I've seen a lot happening with um community bank, uh, your, uh, PayPal, PayPal credit. Um, I'm just, it's, I've seen it all over the board from a whole bunch of different banks. First of all, there's nothing you can do about that. There's nothing you can do about that. It's in their credit card terms and conditions. They can, they can cut your line whenever they want to. They can cut you off whenever they want to. They ain't even got to have no logical rhyme or reason to it. They can just cut you off. Okay. Yes, it will impact your credit score because when it, especially like, okay, in my situation where they took my credit line down to just $300. So you have really reduced the amount of revolving credit that I have available when you cut my, my credit line like that. So yes, it will affect your credit score. It can, because if that's maybe you don't, maybe you only have one or two cards, right? And then when that one gets taken down to a much lower, uh, you know, line of credit, then that's going to affect your your utilization across both your both two three cards that you got. Now, for those of us who have a lot more credit, a lot more credit lines, it's not going to affect us as much mm -mm, because we've got other we've got a lot of other cards with available credit on them. So it doesn't affect those of us with a more seasoned credit profile uh, and more lines you know, more credit lines available. But for those of you who maybe you ain't got but one or two cards and they cut that line, they cut that available credit on that. Yes, it will affect your credit score. It really will. Listen, what these banks are doing is they're just looking at the economy in general. They don't want to get caught holding the bag. So what they're saying is, I see you using your cards over there like you using that, you know, you using that uh, Southwest card or you using that, you know, whatever card It's with another bank. It's not with you using your Chase card more than you using your Bank of America card or whatever. Or I'm using some other card because it give me, you know, for me, I wasn't using that doggone um, U.S. bank card because I I play the points on my cards. OK, so I had a card that was paying me way more in points. And so I was using that card when I went to the grocery store, uh, to Kroger. So therefore I was getting more points than what that card, than what the U S bank card was giving me. Okay. So anyway, they see you using these other cards and they like, Hmm, Hmm, you know what? I'm just going and, and look, and a lot of times there's no rhyme or reason to this. They may look at 
how often you use that card. If you're not using it very often, you know, whatever's going on, and they may say, mm, you know what? The economy's getting weird and we don't want to get caught holding a lot of bad debt. So we're going to cut this person's credit line because they're betting against you. Again, remember lending and credit is all about how much exposure they have and, and, and limiting their liability. Okay. So they're looking at you like, Hmm, you, hmm, you're a little bit more of a high credit risk to us now, even though we gave you this credit line and you may have used it perfectly and never missed a payment and all that good stuff. But uh, the computer, the little algorithm says, mm, they don't like you now. That's all it is. It's not personal. It feels very personal. I took it very personal. I'm a, what? I'm petty. I am petty. I'm a grudge holder. You understand what I'm saying? So no, I know it's not personal, but it is for me and it is for you because you are the person whose credit is being affected. What can you do? Nothing, nothing. Now you can call them and ask for your credit line to be reinstated. I don't think there's a very likelihood of that happening just to tell you the truth. Okay. There's really nothing you can do. My, my personal thing, what I did was, okay. I doubled down, tripled down on them, on them credit cards that were still rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Because if they still rocking with me, whereas U S bank don't cut me off. Okay, cool, cool. And in fact, when I started doubling down on the other cards, they increased my limit. So you know what? It wasn't no loss. It wasn't no sweat off my nose that U.S. Bank cut me off. But uh, to this day, I don't, I don't, I, this is me personally. This is me personally. You know, I told y'all I'm petty and I'm a grudge holder. I don't, I don't bank with them. I won't, I, mm -mm, mm -mm, I won't, no, I, I don't, I don't want to. They send me stuff in the mail. It immediately goes in the trash. I, I don't mess with them. And I don't even, I don't even shop at Kroger no more. Uh, cause just, just to be quite honest with you, you know, uh, but that's just, there's nothing you can do about it. It will affect your credit score. So for those of you who only have one or two credit lines and they don't cut that one credit line, go get you another card. Go get you another card. Even if you got to do a secured card for a minute, go get you another card because you've got to raise your available revolving credit for your credit score to go back up. So if you've been impacted by the credit card company cutting you off, you know, just completely closing your account, or or just bringing that credit line down to, you know, a teensy bit of what it used to be, you need to go get you another credit card. You need to get you another credit card to replace that revolving credit, that available revolving credit that you've lost with this card that just went down or got closed. And then you need to just rock on, excuse me, go on about your business and keep working on your credit. But just know that that's a bank you don't need to, you don't, you don't need to mess with anymore. Whether it's Synchrony, I know Synchrony was doing a whole lot. Synchrony, uh, community, like I told you, mine was U.S. Bank a few years ago. It could be whomever. But what you need to do is get you another card to replace that card and get your credit score back up and go about your business because you're going to be great without them. Again, my name is Rhonda Burgess. I'm a real estate broker and mortgage underwriter here in the Nashville, Tennessee area. If you need help with buying or selling a house here in the middle Tennessee area, please give me a call, reach out. My uh, contact information is in the description below. And me and my partner, Mike, would be glad to help you. Thank you. And as always, have a blessed day.